<laughs> hey, it's Pastor Tommy with Sky Vista. Today, we are giving you our hot take on the DJI RS2. Let's start with some sizzle. So we do want to mention, we were not sent this by DJI. This was purchased for our own company. Um, and uh, we like what we found. Right, so it's helpful to know where we're coming from. We did this Zhuin Crane 2 and we really liked it. Um, we shot a lot of different events with it and um, it, it was a little underpowered when we had our big black magic rig here with the Sigma 18 to 35 lens on it. You could just feel it kind of struggling and it would get a little warm. We'd have to, you know, give it some, give it some time to recover. And plus when it's not on, we had to, it was this with the D's and the, all of that. This guy's got locks on it. Now we're not reviewing uh, the RSC2 because, well, this isn't one. We don't have one. This is the RS2, and it's the pro level uh, version of that. There's a there's a pro uh, RSC2 and a pro RS2. So this is the pro RS2. Uh, for basically, we went with the pro level for three reasons. Um, one is the Raven Eye. Another is the focus motor, and this guy. It's a it's a bracket to attach your phone to the rig itself. Oh. Clearly you put the right man on the job. There we go. It's as easy as that. All right, so first I wanna talk about the Raven Eye. That is a, mo hey, uh, Ronan, could you actually l look up for me? <laughs> awesome. No, it's not voice activated. That would be very impractical on a, on a video shoot. Um, that is being controlled. Check this out. That is being controlled via smartphone. Um, you just go into the app. You enable Force Mobile and watch what happens. Click a thingy. Hello. Look at that. Bam. Look, I'm telling you, there is... I can't even discern a lag time between... I mean, you can even see it. This thing just needs to beep. Are you having a good day? 
Do you like being on camera? <laughs> You're so funny. You are a camera. <laughs> So the Raven Eye enables Force Mobile where you can actually use your phone to control the movements of the gimbal itself. And that's really sweet, but it's also a wireless remote monitor, but you, you don't just look at the picture. I mean, you have uh, ability to do uh, zebra for exposure and false color um, and uh, and focus peaking, um, your, your LUT previews, your color checker. You have everything right there on your phone instead of Something like this rig. There's got to be a better way. Your, your small HD, that was a lot weightier and more cumbersome, and of course, wires and cables that really have an awesome way of getting caught in the gimbal action, pulling stuff out and all that. So, I mean, that just comes with it. Value add. The response of the focus motor to this just little finger dial is so incredibly smooth. I mean, it's better than manipulating the focus on the lens itself. And then I look down at the remote monitor and, and there's like zero, um, well, there's no discernible latency between my focus adjusting and, and what I'm seeing on the screen. That's just amazing. Do you, do you have to keep putting butter in this or it comes pre-sealed with butter? So speaking of focus, I mean, I, I'm sure that you've read up on this just like we have, but the 3D focus module that's coming where you can, you can set the subject in the frame. And then as you're moving so, you know, silky smooth with the gimbal, the focus will stay locked. I mean, that is, that is going to absolutely um, revolutionize everything. There will be limitations. I mean, it'll have to be calibrated and it will only focus on what's in the center of the screen. Um, but even then just being able to lock in on something and then you just worry about the, the camera movement and let the, the rig itself uh, pull focus for that center subject. That's going to be awesome. It gets even better. Like in the pipeline, it's already been announced. What's coming out is that this will actually detach from the handle and will attach to accessories from Tilta. I think we're gonna show you a few of them. I mean, we're talking like car mounts, uh, jib mounts. Um, I, mean, I mean, you know, the classic old like Steadicam rigs, um, because I don't know if you've had experience with these rigs, but the, your lower back starts to hurt. Now this is two and a half pounds lighter than previous iterations, like the original Ronin, but um, you can actually attach it to a Steadicam rig. Even when I'm not shooting, this would just be entertaining to me. One last thing we want to tell you that we, we love about the Raven Eye, just like other DJI drones with the active tracking, it has active tracking. So just on your phone, you can, you can draw around your subject and then the, the, the rig, the gimbal will follow that subject. So that active tracking is a usable feature. It's not perfect. I mean, you can psych it out. Like if your subject is juking and or jiving, um, it will get lost, but man, it actually is usable. All right. So I'm in the app screen. I'm gonna draw a box, a little green box around my beautiful face. And then, I mean, that's it. It's tracking me. What, you, you following me? Are you following me? What if I start dancing? Then what are you gonna do? Do a little, 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 little made up cha-cha, right? Do a little watermelon crawl. I forgot the watermelon crawl. That's. Oh, see, you know, but I mean, who can blame it? Most people can't follow me. Just at a barbecue, I'm just gonna grab this hot dog right off the grill. Walk over to a person, say hi. Or, or let's say I'm picking apples and looking right into the lens as I should not. A big thing um, for us is like build quality. I mean, we're packing this stuff up in cases and unpacking it, using it, packing it back up. And and the build quality of this is is really quite. Hmm, tore about. The carbon fiber construction, but I mean everything is so well machined and well tooled, and the in the in the panel gaps between the um, between the different components are nice and tight. It it, it doesn't feel like it's struggling or or anything's loose. All the, all the different components tightened down really positively. Um, nothing shaky, even the motors themselves, I think I talked about it earlier, they're really, really well powered. So I don't ever feel it going eh, uh, uh, and it's like shaking, trying to, um, trying to keep up. 
things can look really good online. And if you've ever bought anything off Amazon, you know that's not always the case. But but when we received this, we really were genuinely impressed. All right, so this has been pretty standard-ish for a while. I mean, I know I was on the Crane 2 where the base of it folds out so you could set it down on something. But I don't know if you're like me, but when we were shooting, you know, then I'd try to use this to kind of kind of as a, as a back brace, right? Well, what's added here is, and this, is, this feels very Tony Stark to me, to engage in briefcase mode. So that same stand, which has a, a standard quarter 20 tripod mount, boom, you can go all the way, blam, to a briefcase holding mode, just like this. Very nice, the only problem is now how do you set it down? Well, other than just buying another one of these um, from DJI, Tilta and Small Rig are coming out with, uh, with more mounts. So you could have uh, briefcase and tabletop mode. Engage. So a couple things on battery life. When the man behind the curtain uh, was was shooting a whole lot, I mean specifically for that uh, for that tasty intro we began with, he did note that the battery uh, tended to drain really quickly. I mean he's using the the, the Raven Eye and the and the Focus motor. Um, so you know they claim 12 hours. It's probably not 12 hours. When you when you add on the different features, it's probably going to drain pretty quickly. Some good things though is the the charging port is right here, so you don't have to disassemble anything um, to charge it. So even if you can just set it down for a while and give it a quick um, boost, that's a possibility. We, we're planning on getting another handle. So the battery is internal in the handle, but if you have another handle, you just you just quick swap that out, and that will solve that problem. You can see that we're also running a, a Samsung T5 uh, SSD drive and the Tentacle Timecode Sync mounted on top of um, this not small camera body and we still have full clearance and none of the cables, cables are, are, are getting tangled up. One thing we, we do want to add to our setup here is a CFast card so we wouldn't have to have the external drive. I mean, these Samsung T5s are nice and light, and I don't know of one that's failed, um, but it will be really excellent for our gimbal setup to have a CFast card. And, and we know there's a CFast card adapter to an external drive, but that like, no, just go with the CFast card and your, uh, your setup will be even sleeker. If, if you're in this line of work, you do a lot of shooting that requires a gimbal, it, it's a big chunk of money, um, but we think it's worth it. So even if you have to like put it off, save up a little bit, it's a really, really good investment. So the bottom line, yeah, is we do think it's worth it. If you have questions about this rig um, and, and all of its features and settings, I mean, just ask us um, and we'll get back to you. So overall, we give it four and a half vistas out of five. Makes a perfect stocking stuffer if your stockings are, are giant and, and you, and you want to spoil your children. I'm a filmmaker. Oh, at least my thumb. Steven Thunberg. You don't have to put that in there. I just came up with that and it wasn't very good. RS2, would you like to review us for a change? That'll be fun. You'll probably need captions. Oh, I did it wrong. Way. I just, you just want to sit here, gamble around. So, I mentioned that we're a, a production team. We're a team. Um, let, let me show you what I mean by that. If I was doing this review only by myself, without a dude behind the curtain, this is what I'd say. That looks awesome. It's one of those camera stabilizing things. Does it have cool features? Cool. I like it. Is it better? Is it better than the old one that we had? The Zayun thing? It's better than that? Sweet. Good. Yeah, I approve. You should too.